everyone and welcome back to the Christmas movie challenge. My name is Kakulade or Amanda. I realized that it's past New Year's now so obligatory Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. I had wanted to get the series done before the end of December but I had some things come up. Important things, cool things, and not just me procrastinating this time. And I'm very excited to share those things with you all soon. The empty background might give you a partial hint as to what it is. I think that we have maybe three or four more episodes of this challenge to go. For this next Sims week, I'm going to be speedrunning a little bit so that I can focus on getting Juliet's career up as well as some of her skills. I'm otherwise excited to be recording these videos again, and I hope you all enjoy. Okay, so we are back. It is Monday, so, so I'm just gonna play through the weekdays pretty quickly here. I decided to kick this guy out because I didn't really like him. I don't know why you're kicking me out. Maybe because of all those weird things I did that one time? Well, it was nice while it lasted so long. So long. <gasps> Marjorie is wearing her Santa hat. Maybe this is a sign that it's time to start decorating soon. This roommate can stay. She seems civil. Isn't this guy married? I don't know if get to know someone a little better just means be friends or it means like... Romance. I guess... I guess just go for it. Oh my god, she slept through work. This is so unlike you, Juliet. Supplies. It's time for Juliet to buy more office supplies. Will she help lower the budget by finding the cheapest supplies or buy the same ones as last time? I feel like Juliet would want to keep nice things around. Like maybe it would be more logically smart to buy the cheap supplies since they're opening up a business, but she also has a reputation to maintain. And, like, what better way to sell good quality items by making the work environment also feel high quality? Juliet plays it safe and orders the standard supplies. She has played her part well as a cog in the company's well-oiled machine. <laughs> yep, that sounds like Juliet. Marjorie does not seem to be enjoying the song should, sh should she decide she dislikes easy listening music? Yeah, I guess. You don't have to like it. Wow, she didn't get a promotion? Ugh. Unknown caller. They're coming soon. Maybe you should think twice about opening the door. I'm just gonna hang up. Don't you want to <laughs> click? Oh my god. Wait. Don't eat that. Oh wait, no, that's fine. Oh, she's just stinky. I thought it was the food. Yeah, work starts in an hour. She literally gets back from work, sleeps, and then goes back to work. Capitalism, am I right? I want to get her in range of her promotion and then have her socialize with co-workers. Juliet answers the phone and is greeted by the yelling of an irate client. Will she respond by attempting to calm the client or insisting that they take a more polite tone? I think that she would try to be nice about it. Despite Juliet's best efforts, the client refuses to calm down and before Juliet has a chance to transfer their call, they hang up. Some people just want to be angry. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. I think my power got shut off. She's a little awkward. Marjorie didn't pay her bills. Not the best at this. What is she angry about? Infuriating secrets? Those secrets whispered to Marjorie made her quite angry? <gasps> what? Oh, and she's sick. Ugh. Why is it always disgusting in here? That's it. I'm kicking all the roommates out. All they do is make the food and put it on the shelf and let it go bad. That's all Sims do. That's why you can't have shelves in your house. You can't leave any kind of half wall or shelf out because they will put food there and never move it. There we go, much better. Oh, need to kick you out. Sorry, you were a decent roommate, but uh, you gotta go. Same with you. Get out, get out of my inn. We've been promoted to assistant manager. I shouldn't really get anything crazy from that, just a pay raise and now the option to brag about her job title. Her and Marjorie can finally hang out with all the, without all the chaos going on. I'm glad that this is what she likes to do for fun because it works out for me. Christmas level up. Now go to bed. The lottery. Juliet loves this tradition from being ambitious. Purchase a lottery ticket via the computer or phone. Yeah, let's run it. She's gonna convince Marjorie to get on it too. Oh my god, why are you? Why? Oh my god, why are you failing so hard to take care of yourself, Marjorie? I think that I'm gonna have Marjorie hire a maid because. She really can't handle all of this. I thought we paid our bills already. Oh my god, she didn't do them before? Marjorie, you are really irresponsible. Alright, you purchase a lottery ticket. You wake up and purchase a lottery ticket. 
She's inspired. Wishes of riches from entering the lottery. Oh! <gasps> Marshall stopped by. Juliet's not home though. All right, Marjorie, I need you to stall after you order some medicine for yourself. God, work could not be going any slower right now. Okay, so Marshall is all the way over here now. I feel like it would be a little dramatic to run all the way after him. Let's see if she can even catch up to him. Where is she? <laughs> She's zooming. <laughs> oh my god, and she stinks. Oh, bro! <laughs> I really should get going now after we just said hi. I guess he's busy. Alright, I'll just, I'll just have her go home. I don't want her to die out here. That was funny. <laughs> she hates the music that's playing. Switch it then, girl! I'm gonna have Marjorie serve dinner for the two of them. Pan fried tilapia. As I eagerly await to hear about the lottery results. Okay, no, I told you to shower, Juliet. Go shower. Get all freshened up for dinner. Where are you going? She's sad from a close sentiment towards someone feeling bad. Seeing that someone Marjorie cherishes is suffering makes her sad. Oh. Juliet, I've got an extra ticket to the hottest opera in town, but we've got to go right now. Uh, but she needs to eat. Okay, all right. Oh! <gasps> Oh, you're not supposed to see that outfit yet. You're not supposed to see that outfit yet. Oh, but she looks so good. Last time I did that rabbit hole, it didn't work. The opera was such a beautiful experience. Joey Botticelli has one of the most amazing voices I have ever heard in my life. Oh my God. Oh my God, he really took her to the opera. What a romantic gesture. She did kind of ditch Marjorie, so that was kind of rude, TBH. The lottery is successful. The lottery was awesome. Juliet had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to do. Oh, okay, that didn't mean that she won. It just means that they are happy about it. Tragic. She watched some funny videos before she went to bed. Okay, are the swans like repopulating? I don't remember there being this many. Marjorie learned the recipe for spaghetti and strawberry cake. Nice. Well, they got to chat a little bit. Hey, Juliet, I've been thinking of getting a new job. Why are they always asking me this? You're the handyman. You're the handyman. I'm just gonna pretend this didn't happen. Thorn Bailey, isn't he already rich? He's like a celebrity. That's bullshit. She's getting comedy skills at work. Marshall stopped by again. What are their sentiments? They don't have any. Okay. Okay. So Marshall just is showing up at our house all the time now. That's cool. Well, now that all the kids are here, I'm gonna have them all eat together. Why is he so sad? Console about death? Who did he lose? So, like, Marshall's not being straightforward about what's going on or, like, why he's sad, but she is just trying to be supportive to him either way. You could just sit at the table with everyone else or you could do that. Marshall's leaving. Juliet's gonna go to bed. She's making a morning grilled cheese. <laughs> Morning grilled cheese together. Oh, that looks good. I want a grilled cheese. Oh, Derek passed away. So did Ian. Awkward. The old people are dropping like flies. Oh my god, Ralphie aged up. <laughs> I was thinking about throwing him a birthday party, but now I realize that he's already a child. He looks a lot like Marshall with the haircut. Wait, quick, uh, quick, <laughs> quick shower before work, quick shower before work. She's feeling energized, she's off to work. So today while Juliet is at work, I am going to decorate the inn for Christmas now. This will give Marjorie something to do while she's just hanging around the inn today. I'll buy this for Juliet. <laughs> Little sales award on the shelf, that's so cute. Okay, as usual, the screen is very laggy. I'm really only gonna decorate the two community rooms. All right, so we got the tree and the presents in. I'm gonna add some little garlands on some of the doors. Put a wreath on that door. I thought I put one of you right there. Right, we got the garlands outside. I got the tree, the presents. I put in some candles in this room, which I'm really into. That little mason jar tree. Add a little guy here in the corner. Something Christmas for the wall. Serving Santa. This seems like exactly the kind of thing that a quirky old lady would find adorable. Oh my god, it's huge though. <laughs> Can I make it smaller? Maybe I'll put 
this guy over here somewhere. Oh, he can go up here. Perfect. I want to do just a bunch of snowflake lights. That does not look like the same color. I guess maybe it's just the way the lighting's hitting them. Oh, this is so cute. It almost looks like it's just part of the wall. But we're gonna decorate the whole room with them. A hundred dollars each. No expense to be spared. Do you think we have enough lights in here yet? Just some little garland to finish it up. Okay, this room is really decked out. And then in live mode, I believe that is how I set. I don't remember how you decorate for Christmas. Oh, I think I need the attic box. Put that in her room. I don't know what some of these things are. Oh wow, that's intense. <laughs> I swear that there was a different way to do this though. Like I thought you just clicked on the door and did it. Maybe waterfall lights? Oh, the twinkly's pretty though. God, I don't know. This is so hard. I kind of like the hanging one. But what if I just did like red and green hanging ones and then I decorate the fence with one of these pretty garlands? Okay, let's see how this comes out. Oh my god, that is a lot of color. Okay, I love the fence. I'm very into the fence. Uh, it's, re it's a little overwhelming, but I like it. I do like it. Are the lights too much? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what it looks like at nighttime. Oh, she met Lily. Oh my god, she works with Lily Fang. And Alika. Lily seems like someone that she would be wanting to be friends with. I'm gonna have my little stressed girl take a bubble bath. You deserve it, you queen. I'm gonna ignore this because I'm about to do something. Something is about to happen. Go take your bubble bath. Bubble it up. Oh my god. <laughs> he really wants to hang out with her. This is the third text message in a row, Marshall. Chill for a minute. Oh God, she's having fun. Can order a delivery. Ooh, pizza delivery. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Pepperoni pizza, yum. She's gonna play some chess until her pizza gets here. Reached logic level five, let's go. Marjorie Leach reached cooking level five. Is my pizza here yet? Oh my God, what? <laughs> I didn't even see him chill my dude you could have walked over there and said something people these days am i right marjorie wants to romance someone i don't think it's gonna happen sister okay so now the big thing i know you all have been waiting all episode to find out what am i gonna do to close out the drama for today and i'll tell you we are going to have the thompsons come stay as guest at our lovely inn for the weekend because Marshall is looking to do something with his son and who better to spend some time with than Juliet and Marjorie who have been new but close friends of his. Just gotta remember that he lives there. <laughs> one, one big little family. All right, so now we are going to get to play with Marshall and Ralphie for the first time. Maybe he'll like stay in this room together with his dad. I don't know if they'll sleep in the same bed. I'm gonna have Ralphie go plan some outfits so that I can edit him because I haven't touched his him being a child at all. You haven't even achieved level four. You haven't gotten any parenting skills. Have you been parenting your child at all, Marshall? No discipline, no parenting skills. <laughs> He's just got basic level ones. Yeah, I guess he was friends with Derek who passed away, but. For the, for the plot of the story, that's not what actually happened. That's not what he's actually sad about. Uh, anything else? Nothing crazy. Let's look at Ralphie. No skills, no friends. Oh my god. <laughs> They're so bad at taking care of themselves, aren't they? Chupa Sabana. Chupa Sabana. You're so right about that. I actually kind of like his every day. <laughs> he looks like a little jock or something. Maybe just change the shoes to something a little more winter appropriate. Maybe there's a different color for... Maybe not. Maybe that is just the best color. Okay, that's fine. I'm like content with that. It's fine. And then I just want to... I want to update his cold weather outfit. I like the idea of him wearing some kind of hat. <laughs> this is so cute. I like the idea of him having glasses too. Where were those glasses he was wearing? <laughs> 
I'm not saying that I'm making the kid super fashionable, but, you know, he's a kid. He can wear whatever he wants. I mean, anyone can wear whatever they want, but he especially can wear whatever he wants. This jacket is fine with just, like, a different color. I don't have some little rubber boots that his dad probably gave him. Perfectly awkward fifth grade middle school age. Alright, Juliet's gonna go to sleep for the night. I want Marjorie to go upstairs. Oh, he just parental problems. I want Marjorie to go greet them and just welcome them to their room. Here's your room. Welcome to the inn. Hope you have a nice time. I guess Ralphie wanted his own room. That's fine. That's okay. Alright, Marjorie, you can go back to sleep now. It's late. They got in after Marshall got done with work today, so it's straight to bed for these kiddos. It's snowing. Oh, let's see how the the lights look. You know, I feel like maybe I want it to be a little bit more bold, but at the same time, it's kind of pretty and subtle. So maybe we just leave it like that. Look how pretty the shot is with the snow. Ooh, look at this too. The dawn light coming in. <laughs> All right, Marjorie, time to wake up. Time to wake up. Oh, you're already awake. Time to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, go shower. And then we're going to serve breakfast food. Chocolate pie. Ooh. Oh, French toast. Pumpkin scones. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Let's make French toast. That seems like, you know, a good meal. Lots of people like French toast. Classic bed and breakfast kind of vibe. Marshall is- no. Okay, alright, so the idea is that you don't go to work. Like, you're supposed to be here and on vacation. He's a corporate sellout from going to work. Marshall used to believe in a world where Sims didn't have to work for simoleons, but then his friggin' beliefs were abandoned in favor of a steady paycheck. You've changed, dude. <laughs> oh, it works so well with him being this kind of rugged countryman and, and Juliet working for the skeevy corporate business. Yes, everybody eat. No, don't eat pizza, Juliet. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get that out of here. All right, just go sit. I don't know where the food went. Just go sit down. You're all having a breakfast together. Okay, maybe change out of your pajamas. <laughs> we do have company over. So up until now, Juliet also did not know that Marshall had a son until he showed up here. She's a little shocked, but she's gonna try to be friendly with the kid. So Marshall's gonna go over to Juliet and point out how it's snowing and that she shouldn't be cooped up inside when it's such a nice snow day and try to convince her to come outside and build a snowman with him and Ralphie and she's gonna be like, excuse me? I don't know if that's- I don't know if that's quite my thing, Marshall, but he keeps pressing and so she relents. And so Marshall's gonna get them all in on building the snow pals. Oh, Ralphie's gonna go ask his dad for advice. I've been trying to do homework for school with the last few assignments. It felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? I only get one option. Spend more time. Practice makes perfect. Marshall and Ralphie are having a snowball fight outside. This is cute. Juliet's just gonna gonna hang out outside and watch them while they do that. And Marshall just beamed his kid in the face with the snowball. Oh, it's so good to see them getting along though. All right, that's enough playing in the snow. I need you to go sleep. I need you to go sleep. I need everyone to just get their energy up for a couple hours. All right, everybody up, everybody up, everybody up, everybody up. You, use the bathroom. You, use the bathroom. So I can't remember if I had said this in the last episode, but uh, if it's gone over anyone's heads, I just want to establish that in several of his outfits, Marshall is wearing a wedding ring. And so as far as Juliet knows, she just learned that he had a child, but she's never asked about his romantic life and more or less assumes that he's just married, right? That's important. Now I need you to plan a social event, Marjorie. Oh, Marjorie wants the best for Marshall and thinks he's so wonderful. That's so sweet. I was kind of hoping that between the four of them, they would have more friends, but whatever. All right, they're all going to travel to this lot that I placed over here. 
And then I'm also additionally gonna have Marjorie invite Cecilia uh, and Kim, I guess. Okay, so here we are at this beautiful little barn that I found. I think it's so cute. And I dressed it up a little bit for a Christmas party. Okay, we hired a vendor. I'm going to start playing winter holiday music that you can't hear, but I promise it's playing. Uh, yeah, he can like fitness. I'm a little annoyed because I was trying to throw a party and it just was not working the way I wanted it to. So I'm gonna have at least the Sims I am in control of change into their party outfits. Okay, everybody is changed. Juliet, ready. Marjorie, ready. Ralphie, ready. <laughs> Marshall, ready. So Marshall is like <laughs> the entertainer for the party. Originally I envisioned having more kids at this party but Ralphie doesn't know any, so he's just kind of the, the festive entertainment for the town party. Oh, he's gonna order a carrot cake cupcake. Carrot cake cupcake. She's gonna have a fruit cobbler. I think the other two are better. I'm gonna have Julia go direct. She's gonna compliment his outfit. Marshall, what in the hell are you wearing? There she goes. Oh no. <laughs> So because uh, this is open, I wasn't, I was kind of hoping the temperature wouldn't bother them, but I guess I do need to add a door. The archway is beautiful. I'm so sorry, I have to destroy this creation. Let's get like a big double door. Okay, go here. You go here, please don't die everyone. Everybody inside. Warm up, warm up. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna have Marshall go tell his son an unbelievable story. Meanwhile, Juliet is going to get a drink. Yeah, order drinks for everyone. Why not? And get everybody a... <laughs> a Sims Mapolitan, only $340 each. The Granny Smash. Oh, I feel like I have to do this one just because of Marjorie. Yeah, get everyone a Granny Smash. Marjorie's gonna go chat with Juliet. Everyone's chatting. I wonder if I can get... Marjorie to get everyone to start dancing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got another. We got it. oh, he's bored, but we did get another. <laughs> this is so hectic. It looks like everybody is chatting and having a good time though. There's so many people coming to the lot that makes me happy. I guess they're all just kind of outside rather than inside. Juliet is bonding with Marshall's kid a little bit. All right, she got her own Simsmopolitan. Cause she's just a classy gal like that. Talking to Ralphie, getting a little tipsy. <laughs> Marshall's feeling confident. He wants to use a bold pickup line on someone. Okay, I'm gonna have him change back to his uh, other outfit. Change back into his everyday look. No, oh, I got it. You were in there the whole time. Someone complimented Juliet cause she's feeling very flattered. It's probably the lipstick. It's the lipstick. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, that guy's a vampire. Kinda spooky. All right. She <laughs> drinks this good or what life is all about. Simply magnificent. So I would consider her tipsy, if not a little drunk at this point. She has decided to go drunk dancing. That sounds right. What, what is this? What are you doing? This, yeah, this is drunk dancing. So she's gonna call over to Marshall to head upstairs. And Marshall's like, all right, what's up? And you know, she's gonna kind of drunkenly clamor up the ladder. <laughs> They're gonna go talk together. You know the vibe when it gets really late in a party and everyone ends up splitting off and just kind of drunkenly talking to each other about life? That is what's happening here. She's gonna, it, what, spit it. There we go, I had to make them sit closer. <laughs> I'm having to remove all these windows because they're gonna freeze to death. <laughs> but yeah, it is, it is a little chilly in the, the attic area. That tracks. Marshall's gonna ask if she had it. Okay, apparently they don't wanna like sit together. Hello? I cannot get these two to just stand here and talk. Are you kidding me? Go talk to him. Oh my God, finally I got them to talk. Good Lord. <laughs> oh my God. She is going to give him a heartfelt compliment and talk about how great that they've been getting along. That she didn't expect to meet someone like him here and 
the whole day has been fun, meeting his son has been fun, and she's trying to keep it friendly. They're just having a good time chatting. She's gonna go on to gossip about her office romances and all the drama that's happening with her work. And then she really feels the alcohol starting to hit her and decides to just go with this urge to do a bold pickup line on him. They just became good friends. Oh, no. oh it looks like it worked. She's gonna tease him flirtatiously about being kind of a country boy and the gnome outfit that he was in earlier. Gonna tell him an inside joke. She's flirting with him. <laughs> so funny. And she's gonna ask him a risque question. Warm up with body heat. Oh, it's just so cold in here, Marshall. He does have a jacket that he could give her. Oh, it's saying they don't have the space to do it. All right, that's fine. I'll have her make a move on him. Yeah, that, that's kind of like warming up with body heat. God, she's drunk. She's drunk. <laughs> The spacious but intimate atmosphere makes Sims confident in using their skills on other Sims. Alright, I think that's enough flirting. Marjorie's drunk dancing. There's a mess on the floor. It's probably time at 6.30 a.m. to call this evening. Let's have the whole squad go home. How oh, like... <laughs> careful she was climbing down the ladder. I'm sure climbing up and down ladders when you're drunk is not easy. Squad's off. I just want to check in on their moods a little bit. Marjorie's playful. Ralphie is exhausted. He titillating banter. Flirtatious jokes. Juicy gossip. He really wanted to kiss her. He re oh my god, he just wants to kiss her. Oh my god. How does does she she didn't she want oh <laughs> Forget the kissing. Let's go straight to the banging. Oh, I guess you can't see it, what it says. Um, it says that she wants to woohoo with Marshall. Oh my god. Well, that's how they're feeling. I guess she is still a little tipsy. They're both a little tipsy. She's gonna go to sleep. Uh, is Ralphie in bed? Is he going to bed? Yeah, he can handle himself. He's a good, good young lad. You're gonna go to sleep. You're sleeping on the couch. Maybe go to your bed. Everyone needs a rest. <laughs> Very late Saturday night. Oh my god, is he just giggle in his sleep? Sleeping soundly. Hey, I heard you and Ralphie Thompson are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's my son. So Juliet's gonna wake up in the morning. She is hungover. She's feels gross. She's hungry. She's gonna take a thoughtful shower and everything that happened last night is gonna start coming back to her and she's thinking, oh my god, how? This is my only real friend in this town. I got too drunk last night. I hit on him. She thinks that he's married. She feels terrible. Pretend, pretend that she isn't happy. She feels terrible <laughs> and doesn't know how to go about handling it. So that's where I'm gonna end the episode today. Stirring Juliet feels like she's kind of going through a crisis right now with her job and her love, but she finds herself attracted to this man who is so much unlike what she is used to and what her tastes are like, and especially a man that has a kid and as far as she knows is married to someone. So I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more and I hope to see you all next time.